the EAS, something most of us are all too familiar with. Whether it's from the scheduled tests or an actual emergency, most of us have heard these before. Recently, emergency alerts have been making the rounds on YouTube, so to give you some more information on them, we will be explaining the EAS iceberg. I'm pretty sure most of you know what an iceberg is, but to summarize, an iceberg is a chart on a topic with information relating to the topic. The further down you go, the more obscure the information gets. Just to let you know, I will not be playing any EAS tones in this video, the reason for which I will explain in one of the entries that we explained. This video will be covering the United States EAS system, so without any further ado, let's take a look at the Emergency Alert System Iceberg. Layer 1. Tornado. Tornado refers to a type of EAS alert that is played, as you could guess, during a tornado emergency. Most of you in the USA have most likely heard this one as the alarms are tested about once a month. Severe Thunderstorm. Severe Thunderstorm is a type of emergency alert system alert played during a thunderstorm emergency. These are not too common, however some of us may have heard it before. Watch. Watch is a type of emergency alert that is sent out as a precaution, generally meant to warn the public of a possibility of a weather emergency. These are one of the most common emergency alerts out there. Warning. A warning is very similar to a watch, however a warning is a level above the watch, in that it indicates a significant threat to public safety which is much more serious than a watch alert. Wartime Broadcast A wartime broadcast is an emergency alert that is sent out by a country to inform its citizens that the country is going to war. These are relatively rare compared to the previously mentioned emergency alerts. World Ending Broadcast a world-ending broadcast is an emergency alert sent to signify, well, the world ending. This has pretty much zero chance of happening and originates from one of those EAS scenario mock-up videos. Although, I do wonder if this was sent out in 2012. Hmm. Scenario. Scenario refers to the many YouTube videos that create fake emergency alerts based on fictional scenarios. Most of these videos are really well made and have an analog horror-esque vibe to them. This is not a test. This is not a test is a phrase that you would not want to hear during an emergency alert broadcast. This signifies that a threat is existent and is followed by steps to secure yourself and your family. Trilithic EASE Plus or Trilithic Easy Plus. Trilithic Easy Plus is the most commonly broadcasted emergency alert screen in the United States. This screen is the one with the white analog text on a black background. This tends to be the scariest to people as it's seen as pretty uncanny, as well as the loud beeping sounds that come up while it plays. Custom screens for local networks. This entry refers to how many television networks have their own custom emergency alert screens. The most famous custom screen is the Direct TV Emergency Alert Screen. Test. Test refers to how emergency alerts are generally tested on specific dates, with the tests being scheduled for a specific day at a set time interval. These are very common in many countries. Canadian EAS. This entry refers to how Canada has an emergency alert system very similar to the one used in the United States, and they generally use similar alert tones as well. Amber Alert. An Amber Alert is an emergency alert meant to inform the public of a child abduction. The name itself comes from the name of a child who was kidnapped in 1995. This alert, unfortunately, is quite common in the United States. Layer 2 Advisory An advisory is an alert issued when a weather emergency is imminent or occurring and is used specifically for weather emergencies as opposed to warnings, which were covered in Layer 1. Hijacks this is referring to how many television hijackings happen in the US. These aren't too common, but have happened before. There have been few events where the hijackers send out false emergency alerts, but it has happened in the past. Don't play valid tones in the USA. This entry refers to how it is illegal to play valid emergency alert tones in the USA. This can result in a hefty fine being sent for the person or group that is playing these tones. 
This is the reason why you shouldn't play these EAS tones on speakers and instead should use headphones when listening to EAS related videos. And this is also why I'm not putting any EAS sounds in this video. Max Headroom. Max Headroom refers to the Max Headroom hijacking incident, which happened in 1987. The hijackers played a video of a man in a Max Headroom mask speaking to the camera. The hijackers have still not been caught. I'm not too sure why this entry is here as it has nothing to do with emergency alerts. Emergency Broadcast System The EBS is the predecessor to the modern emergency alert system. The EBS was used from 1963 up until 1997 when it was replaced by the EAS. This was the successor to Conrad. The EBS was replaced as the EAS made it easier to limit the broadcasting areas of the alert and help send alerts to more specific areas. Hawaii Ballistic Missile Alert this refers to an event in Hawaii in 2018 where a ballistic missile alert was sent out by accident. Only an emergency alert was sent, and sirens never ended up playing, which confused many. This event led to mass hysteria across Hawaii and was probably pretty traumatic to some of the people who lived there. EAN or NEM Emergency Alert Notification, or EAN, is an emergency alert used to notify the US public of a national or global emergency, such as nuclear war. The alert can only be sent out by the President of the United States or the Vice President. This was renamed in 2022 as the National Emergency Message. These messages begin with a programming interruption message, followed by a presidential message, then local and state messages then national information messages. This emergency alert has never been used before, other than a test round in 2011. Winter weather. Winter weather refers to the emergency alerts that are used to warn the public of any emergencies relating to winter weather, such as blizzards, black ice, or snowstorms. Blizzard. This is a specific type of alert sent out for a blizzard and is a subcategory of the previously mentioned winter weather alert. Conrad. Conrad is the first emergency alert system used by the United States. This system was used from 1951 up until 1963 when it was replaced by the EBS or Emergency Broadcast System. This was used to warn the public of an enemy attack during the Cold War, which explains the name which stands for Control of Electromagnetic Radiation, Layer 3. End of the Nation Scenario Messages this refers to how the national anthem and the phrases God bless you and this is the end of our nation would be played in many world ending EAS scenario videos on YouTube. This has led to the belief that these would play in a real life nation ending emergency which I don't know how true that is but it won't be proven really. Pre-recorded tapes. This entry refers to how many emergency alerts are pre-recorded and prepared well before an emergency with many being made for different areas. There's not too much else to say about this. Alert, 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 1999. This is a phrase that is specific to a tornado alert sent out in 1999 for Hamilton County, Ohio. This phrase was not popularly used at the time which is what makes it notable. Okay guys, so while editing I realized that this EAS screen was used a bit more than just that one instance, however it was still relatively rare compared to all the other ones, and was only used for a few months in 1999. EAN fail of 2011. This refers to the first time the emergency alert notification was used in 2011. This was used as a test and showed many flaws in the system. These include a short test length, lack of public awareness due to Washington DC's area code being used, bad quality, and so on. However, these were used to help fix the issues, I hope, because we don't know this was the only time they had to use the EAN. SPC Convective Outlooks this refers to the graph that is used to predict the outlook of a severe weather emergency. This is generally shown as a map of the USA with different colored outlines covering the affected areas with colors distinguishing the severity of the weather. Silver alert. Silver alerts are similar to amber alerts. However, these are used to alert the public of a missing or endangered elderly person. This is generally used when a person with Alzheimer's or dementia go missing and is used to help locate and rescue these people. Special Weather Statement 
A special weather statement is a type of emergency alert used when one of the other types is insufficient of describing the weather emergency that's going on. These are relatively more rare and haven't been used much to my knowledge. Evacuation immediate. This is a type of emergency alert which informs the public of a mandatory evacuation of the area they live in. This is a rare alert and is only used in a wildfire, hurricane, flash flooding, or a fire. Layer 5 TV Station Down This refers to how a TV station could go down during an emergency alert broadcast. This is most likely caused by a weather emergency, as the weather could knock down the broadcast lines that the television stations are using. EBS Human Voices This refers to how the EBS, the predecessor of the EAS, used to have human voices speaking out the emergency messages, as opposed to the EAS, which uses a text-to-speech bot. These were phased out by the EAS due to having bad audio transmission quality with recorded voices as opposed to having the bot voices which already were kind of 8-bit monotone voices. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. The broadcasters of your area in voluntary cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. President's speech during EAN. This refers to how the president would go on the air during a national emergency message or EAN, emergency alert notification. This however hasn't happened as the NEM once again has never been used. Layer 5 Hoboken Train Crash Hijack This refers to a hijack that happened during a train crash in Hoboken, New Jersey. The hijackers are believed to have played green eggs and ham. If you have ever seen this, you would know that there is a scene of a train diving into the water. This, however, is only alleged to have happened. Montana, Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, Zombie Alert. This refers to an event in 2013 where broadcasters in Montana, Michigan, and Wisconsin were hacked and broadcasted an emergency alert stating that the zombies were rising and attacking people. Really? Hijacked stations to say this? Anyways, later in 2017, a broadcaster in Indiana was hijacked and played the same audio and video from the 2013 broadcast. Layer 6 Air Force Tornado Warning This entry refers to how the US Air Force broadcasted the first ever tornado warning alert, as opposed to the National Weather Service, which is pretty interesting. Olympus Has Fallen Tones In the trailer for the movie Olympus Has Fallen, Valid EAS tones were played, which led to the film producers being fined for broadcasting valid EAS tones, which serves as proof of the entry from earlier, saying that it's illegal to broadcast valid EAS tones in the United States. Layer 7 Jefferson County Meme Hijacks On the 20th of February 2020, Wave Broadband's EAS equipment was hijacked, causing fake emergency alerts to be sent out containing random messages and sounds referring to memes and websites on the internet. On the 2nd and 3rd of March 2020, a scheduled test which happened displayed a message saying, I- I'm done. You can rest now. Mr. Gertie was here by the way. Which was a remnant from the prior hacking. Ice Storm Warning this is an alert sent out by the National Weather Service when there is a frozen rainstorm. This will usually show up as being a winter weather warning and is pretty rare. Layer 8 Unrecognized Message An unrecognized message is an error that appears on older NOAA weather radios when they receive a newer EAS alert that they haven't been trained to recognize. This will lead to the alert tones being the same as usual on a newer model, just with the text on the screen reading unrecognized message. This is very rare. Food Contamination Warning A food contamination warning is an EAS alert that hasn't been implemented yet, meant to warn the public of any food contamination in their area. This will generally show up as a civil emergency, war civil emergency message. This has not been seen before due to it not being implemented yet. So, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking along. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. Be sure to check out our Gen Z Nostalgia Iceberg as well. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay safe. Bye!
emergency broadcast system, the eBay...